What's going up guys? Trevor here with the Artivet YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to clean out the windshield washer sprayers. Now some of you may have run into this. I've already got one out. I've got them both out actually. They're attached underneath the hood and they spray your windshield with washer fluid to keep the bugs off. Go ahead click that red subscribe button and let's roll that intro. Right now, let's get back up to the front and I'm gonna show you guys what to do. First, obviously make sure you got some coolant, some fluid in there, not coolant, <laughs> washer fluid inside of there. And then your hose is here. You can see I've already got one taken apart and I've been trying to blow on this one. I believe that this one goes to the back and then this one here, you can see that it leads up to the hood. And so we're gonna go ahead and remove this fire uh, Oh gosh, what do you call them? Fire damper. If there's an engine fire, that drops down and it's supposed to help suffocate it and put it out. So I've got a little screwdriver over here and I'm starting to pry these tabs out. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. And then two little hooks right here. You guys can see those. And so when we get those out, it'll just pull up, straight up this way and then out. And that'll reveal our line and we can make sure that those lines are clear as well as cleaning the tips of the sprayers themselves. It is hot out here, so be sure you got you a drink. All right, now we've got that off and it's just sitting down here nicely. All of our caps are up there. We can see that exposes the entire line. We can make sure there's no holes in it. Now my driver's side is the one that I've had problems with. So I've got it sitting right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to take these off. They're right there. And you just pull on the front. And then boom, there you go, it comes out. Next, you pull it out a little bit. And if you slide this off of that tip, now you've got it. And as you can see, mine went and popped up in there. But that's okay, because it's right, right up here and we can just go ahead and wiggle that guy back down to the bottom of the hole here get it back out fished out but now what i want to do is very carefully take a little needle and i'm just going to clean out the hole in the front side here both of them just clean them out clean any gunk in there and then i did a little blow test you can hear air flowing through it so we're going to do that on this one too. Clean off the stuff on the front there. Just use my finger. Try and clean any of the gunk inside of it out. There's a little bit there. And this is the good one. And it seems blocked. Now we've got those checked. I will go and blow on these hoses and make sure that there's they're getting good there. All right, so I've got a water hose and I just got it on the end here and we're gonna watch both of those drip. So we should see water dripping. And it's flowing nice through both of them as you guys can see. So we know that that is clear. Blow what's left of that out. This stuff is not edible. Do not suggest drinking it. Highly suggest that you don't. So we know that that's clear. I'm gonna go ahead and do that same thing on this one. <clears throat> and to get these little clips off, see this little black uh, hair clip here? Just kind of pull it back and then it'll pop off. Now we can take our hose, bring it around front, Spray that. And then we could go check back here, see if it, any of it came through. Which does not look like it. But it's got a long way to travel. 
<clears throat> so we're just gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna get somebody to help me so I don't have to sit here continuously spray. <laughs> and you can also, you can blow into this end and you'll hear bubbles on your side over here. So uh, now it's just to put a little bit of water through these, double check them, and then we'll be ready to put everything back together. All right, so now we've got this one clean from the passenger side. I'm gonna put it on the driver's side and then my driver's side one, I am giving a bath right now and I'm gonna let it soak in some cleaner for a little bit. And while we do that, we can get this one set up. So I'm gonna set you guys down right here. Uh, maybe right, somewhere right in here, get you guys a good view. Maybe this will be best. So our nozzle's right there. I'm gonna hold my finger there. Here we go, and then we'll pop the back in, just like that, push the top up, it's good to go. All right, here we go, we're gonna test the, dry. this was the driver's side. And after sitting in some, some cleaner, Still not spraying quite right, so I think I'm just gonna have to buy me a new one and put it on there. However, that'll wait for another day. Gas prices are expensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on, reconnect everything, put our fire blanket down, fish this guy back out, just like that. And then, we can wiggle. Sorry, hope you guys aren't just seeing my pits. There we go. Let's go ahead and give this a try after we get this put back up. All right, so we got our front one, the driver slides in. However, I just want to check the back one, so we're gonna check it and can hear it there it is spraying nice and good looks plenty good that's awesome now we'll wait for the driver one the passenger side of me to finish and be ready to roll see so I sprayed the back and you guys seen me spray the back and this is a little wet so it leaves me to believe that that can be clean too and we're gonna figure it out. But now we've got the front all put together. So let's go ahead, push the little start button, cause uh, why not? And go ahead and test this puppy out. And as you can see, my driver's side sprays really well because I stole it from the passenger side. But hey, I'd rather have it that way anyways. So I'd say that's a goal accomplished we could go ahead and spray the back some more by just turning this one turn it back on and then turn this little dial down we can go check see if that did anything different so we come back here Looky there. Maybe I have discovered how it works. I don't really know, but you can see that the water's not coming, the cleanser isn't coming from up there, it's coming from 
down here but it's supposed to clean off your camera so I don't know drop a comment down below if you had that problem I'm gonna do the same thing just clean it out with a little needle and call it good it's really really odd if this video helped you guys out smash that thumbs up don't forget to click the red subscribe button we're on our way to 10k I'd really appreciate your guys' help Thanks for stopping by. We will catch you in another video. Have a great night and God bless. <laughs> Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. Just got it fixed in view. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.